All right, now I do think I can classify myself as a fan of Mary Jane, and I think that I can say most of, if not all of my viewers feel the exact same way. But that doesn't mean I am high everywhere I go. Some places I just don't think you should be high. Some examples could be work, your own wedding, your child's birth, a colonoscopy, a funeral, and for me personally, school. I was never the brightest of students, and I don't really think that going to school baked would have really helped me, but that doesn't mean I haven't done it before. Really emphasizes the high in high school, huh? So this story takes place at around the beginning of the 10th grade. I hadn't had much experience with smoking before, and I had actually only smoked one to two other times before this, and it was with my boy Clarence, who you might actually remember is the hash-slinging slasher when it comes to Mary Jane. Me and Clarence had the same first class of the day, which was French. And after that, we had a one hour break till our next class. Now some of you may be thinking, okay, what's so significant about that? Well, my friends, this is where I tell you that Clarence lived literally two houses away from the school. I am not exaggerating about this. We could leave the school building and within two minutes be on Clarence's basement couch. Anyways, so as class ends, Clarence calls me over and asks if I'm trying to hang out at his place for a bit till our next class. Obviously, I had said yes because, you know, this was one of my boys and I didn't have much else to do. So, as we're walking out of the school and towards his house, it sort of hits me. There is absolutely no way I'm going to be leaving this dude's house sober. And I would be correct about that. So we get into his basement and turn on some tunes, you know. Then he pulls out the grass and us being the absolute gods that we are, smoke it. So after this, we pretty much just hang out in his basement and listen to some music and munch till it's time to go back to class. Now once I had actually stood up from the couch, I had actually realized, oh fuck, I didn't expect this. Which I mean, in my defense, I didn't have much experience with the devil's lettuce before, okay? So Clarence sort of looks at me and gives me that you're really high look. So we walk back to school and me and Clarence don't have any other classes together that day. So before we split up for the day, he tells me that I'm going to be fine and that it'll be alright. So I start walking to my next class, which is music class. Now I think I should mention that gym and music class changed every other day. So for example, one day it would be music, the next it would be gym, then music, then gym, etc. So I get to the music room and realize that the lights are off and the door is locked and that there's nobody in there. As I sit there puzzled, I hear the words from across the hall. Dude, what are you doing? We got gym this period. Are you skipping? I turn to see James at the end of the hall and I think he knew that I knew that he knew. So he walks up to me and sort of just tells me that it's going to be okay. As we walk into the gym, I turn to look where the teacher would usually be standing. I don't see any teacher anywhere, so I ask James, Hey, where's the teacher? He says, Dude, you're in luck. We got a substitute teacher. The relief that washed over me was immediate. My heart was beating so fast due to happiness. The reason I was so happy about this is because, let's be honest, when there was a sub in high school, no work was going to happen. And a sub teacher in gym class, that always meant either walking laps around the gym or dodgeball. You know how Starbucks has a secret menu? Well, there was also a secret third option, which was sit on the bleachers all class. No exaggeration, this felt like four and a half hours long of waiting. The substitute teacher then notices us and walks up to us. The conversation goes as follows. Uh, what are you guys doing? Uh, he's just not feeling the best. Okay, but why do you need to sit with him? Are you doing okay? <laughs> it's okay, we'll, we'll start walking soon. The bell rang at the most convenient time possible. After that, I walked through the hallway and proceeded to get many stares from teachers. I immediately ignored them and me and James walked out of the front door of the school. We each went our separate ways and skipped the rest of the school day. I then got home and it's around 11am at this time. 
So I grab a box of Ritz crackers, eat a handful, and have the slump of the century. After waking up, it's around 11.15pm, and it's somehow only now that I realize it's a Friday afternoon. So I hop on Xbox and me and James and eventually Clarence play well into the night. I also have gone to school high on a couple of other times, and if you want to hear that, please let me know. Also, you guys, what the fuck, 2,000 subscribers, that is unreal. That is so many people who've taken time out of their day to watch my story times, accompanied by my sad excuse for an animation. Seriously, you guys, thank you so much. Let's hit 3k, come on, I know we can do it. If you have any other video ideas, please leave them down below. I love you guys, and to all of my lovely subscribers.